Hi, welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, your host, Courtney Dowlett. Welcome to the show where we hang out and craft together. However, today we are live. We are live today. I am so excited to be live. If you guys don't know, my, my show is usually uh, pre-recorded, but today we are live. I'm here. I'm looking at your comments live and I am so excited to be here. Courtney, why are you live? Great question. So we reached the other day, uh, 17 thousand subscribers on our youtube channel what what i know i do this every time every time we reach a thousand i'm mind blown but seventeen thousand of you want to hang out with us you want to learn some stuff you want to learn your machine so that way you're using your machine and i am excited to teach you i am excited that you're excited um also on the brother scanning cut or what is it uh Brothers Scan and Cut, All Brands After Hours Facebook group. We're almost to 300 of you guys. Like, what? <laughs> I'm so excited. So you know that every time we we do another thousand on our YouTube channel, I come jump on and do a live show where I answer your questions live. That way you can ask a question. I can show you in person. Well, not in person, you know, but I can show you automatically and answer the questions and all that fun stuff. So I have a few things planned um, because of course I do, but also again, leave your questions down below in the comments or wherever you're seeing the comments on your screen, that way I can answer them. So let's jump over and say hello to some people in the live chat because hello, we're live. I mean, come on. Uh, Miss Billy was like, am I early? Am I late? You were early, Miss Billy. All right, let's see. Kathy, she was early too. Let's see. Carissa was early. I love you guys. You're like, I'm here. Miss Mary, hello. Hello, Christina. I'm in Florida. Does all brands take trade-ins on sewing machines or scan and cuts? Uh, yes, on sewing machines. No, on scan and cuts. Um, they, I, I don't know why, but they they do on sewing machines, embroidery machines, quilting machines, all that kind of stuff. We have awesome trade-in deals for those. Um, but scan and cuts, they do not. I fast. <laughs> I keep all my scan and cuts. Who am I joking? Um, Ms. Ann, hello. Pam, hello. Robin, hello from Pittsburgh. Uh, we are about four inches of snow. Dang, groundhog is telling lies. I never, I never look with the groundhog. Look, I'm from Louisiana, okay? If a crocodile, or no, it's not a crocodile. An alligator didn't say it. I don't believe it. Um, Miss Alyssa, hello from Oklahoma. Karen, Ohio. Miss Barbara Jones, love Barbara Jones. Uh, spend 40s all day in gray and gloom. At least I can make it to something. You've made it, Barbara. You're here. You are here. We are alive. Carolyn, hello. Hello, Sue. Hello. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of you. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to... I love seeing all of you saying hello. So I'm just going to pop you on screen real fast. Don't say anything inappropriate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're alive. Um, I'm just going to pop you guys in real fast because I want to get down to your questions because that is um, my biggie. Oh, Miss Elizabeth is actually a All Brands Behind the Scenes member. I see your little icon next to your name. So when you're behind the scene member, it uh, changes your color. So it grabs my attention a little bit better. Uh, first time on, on thanks to Becky Thompson. Becky Thompson is awesome. Uh, she actually took over the all brand show, which is, you know, my sister-in-law, Barbara Dowlett does that show. Uh, and she took it over because we were in Disney world. So <laughs> we were actually in Disney world, went on a big family trip. It was way too many of us. It was like herding drunk cats. Okay. It was, it was a bit much, but we had a great time. So let's see. Dun, dun, dun. What is the name of the Facebook page again? You know what? Where is my phone? You know, I don't want to lie to you. So I'm actually going to look. Someone told me the other day, they were like, I love that uh, sometimes you pull out your phone and you ask questions and figure things out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I'm as real as they get. <laughs> Let's see. The Facebook group is right here. It is called Brother Scan and Cut with All Brands After Hours. Um, and it has our little, you know, our little blue after hours thing. Um, on there. So that is we're at 286. That is wild. But sometimes I do lives on there just jumping in real quick. And I love I absolutely love when you guys post your pictures of your projects. And you show, you know what you guys been doing, you ask me questions. I, I love that I need to answer some of those questions. But I, I love it. It's just it's a great community of people that are just excited. Oh, let's see, Erica Smith would like to join the group approve approve erica you are approved on this live right now to join that group yes yes it actually goes to my cell phone and i approve you manually through my phone so let's jump down i want to see if you guys have any questions before i start going on tangents like i always do uh when doing wall art with vinyl do i reverse it i'm doing this before 
what before, but it's been a while. Okay. So if you're doing like a wall decal, I'm assuming you're using pressure sensitive vinyl. There are multiple different kinds of vinyl, but most of the time you're going to think heat transfer vinyl, which you would do on a shirt or like on a koozie, something that you're okay with adding heat to. And then there's pressure sensitive vinyl. That's like a sticker. Um, so I would do that on like a Yeti cup, or I would do that on a wall decal. So with with heat transfer, you have to flip it. It's a whole thing. With pressure sensitive, you don't have to flip it because you're cutting straight on there. So, and then you use transfer tape to transfer it over to whatever you're wanting to put it on. So in this case, a wall. So you would not have to flip it. Um, there, there's no reason I see that you would ever have to. So you're good on keeping it un, unreversed, unflipped. Let's see. Uh, hi, Courtney. No snow here, but there is an earthquake. Oh my God. I've never been in an earthquake. I don't, I don't think I would do well. I don't know. Everybody like, keep it cool. And I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> All right, Carol. I see you every morning. Uh, I see you every morning with Becky. Oh, Becky's awesome. We love Becky. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I'm trying to see if, make sure I, I'm trying to be good on the show to make sure that I answer every single question that you possibly have. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, Mary Lou said, I have a 330D turned on and ready to go. Oh, Mary, you have a, I love a 330. That is the Disney model. So you got Mickey Mouse in the house. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going to miss any questions because I'm determined to answer every single of your questions live automatically. It's going to be great. So um, I'm so sorry if this bracelet is bothering you guys. My niece, Angela Grace, gave this to me right before I walked out the door because you guys, I fed my sister, her husband, her four kids, my husband, my three of my kids, one of them wasn't home. Um, my mother and my uncle were all at my house. And I was like, hey, guys, I got to go. I got to live. <laughs> They're fine. My mom was going to watch the kids. My brothers, uh, my sister and brother-in-law were going out to dinner for Valentine's Day. Oh, Kim just joined the Facebook group. Awesome. Um, so I, I had everyone, we did breakfast for dinner, just easiest thing. And then I ran out the door. Um, so your girl, your girl was getting it. Let's see. Uh, Cynthia said, are you going to have a scale on sale? Oh, sale on scale, my brain, sale on skinny cut patterns. Um, you mean like the cards, the individual cards with the activation codes? I don't know if there is a current sale on there, but you guys like not, not trying to tell you how to, how to shop. You do realize that we have coupons like every month. If you sign up for our email, they're there. If you go on our website, I forget where they're at, but like they're always there. So you, but technically there's always a sale. There's always coupons. Like buy what you want, but like, you know, there's always coupons. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is why I'm not live. Okay. Let's see. I would like to know about to cut mylar. Um, did I did that? I did clear vinyl the other, which is similar. Gosh, I wish I had some mylar on me. So mylar, what I would do. This is when you know my brain starts turning and I start looking randomly. Um, I would use your blue low tack mat with mylar just because it's like it's like that tissuey, you know, light. I would use a blue low tack mat because you don't need anything super strong to hold that. It's it's again, it's like tissue. Um, it's not tissue, but you know what I mean. So I would use blue tack mat, and then I would probably use your black auto blade. Depending on the brand, if it's a high quality, this black one will do you good. If you notice any snagging, then I would switch over to the rotary blade, which I don't have mine right here because, of course, I don't, um, which is like that teal color at the top, that rotary blade. I would switch to that because that's going to be the most delicate blade, but your black auto blade could probably do it. If it's a decent, uh, decently made, if it's uh, very flimsy, then I would try that rotary blade. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, guys, you guys are answering questions now. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. As Kathy said, what vinyl do I use to put on a t-shirt? Uh, heat transfer vinyl. So HTV, my personal favorites are Caesar. So S-I-S-E-R um, is my personal favorite brand, but there's tons of brands out there that are great. That's just the one that I like that I've used. And believe me, I've tried a lot of vinyls. That's the one that, um, that I love. Rose, am I frozen? Oh, no. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can see me. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope I didn't freeze with one of those weird faces. You know what I mean? We're like, let's see. Miss Kathy said, yay, I love coupons. It happens to have a cart full of just waiting. Yeah, coupons are awesome. There are some products that uh, the manufacturer won't let us put coupons on, but a lot of it we can. So I always say, just try it. Heaven forbid it doesn't let you, but just try it. Uh, do you use interfacing when cutting quilt blocks? Uh, I don't. 
Um, so what I like to use, and I think it's actually right across there from me, is Tyrell Magic. I treat most of my fabric that I'm going to cut in my stand and cut with Tyrell Magic, uh, mainly because I travel so much here and there. Like, guys, this is my purse. <laughs> uh, one of those old school, what's in your purse bag? Just quilt blocks in my purse. Like, there's actual, there's actual quilt blocks in my purse right now um, that uh, I wanted to sew together because I travel with this stuff. Do you think that I would put a quilt block, like, look, it's rolling up because it's been traveling in the bottom of my purse. Do you think I would put quilt blocks in my purse um, without them being treated? And look, it's no, there's no fraying. There's nothing. Like, it's, it's perfect. They're perfectly fine. Um, I can't believe I just showed you that. Um, but they're perfectly fine because they're treated with that Tyrell Magic. But when you wash Tyrell Magic is like a starch. It's it not like it is a starch. And so it gives it that stiffness, that Christmas, Christmas, crispness um, to be cut out with your machine. And then whenever you're done doing whatever you need to do to it, you just wash it and all of that comes out and it goes back to a regular material. So I, I love treating it. Do you have to treat your fabric to put it in the scan cut? No. Does it make it a little bit easier? Yes, because you think it's a sticky mat. You're putting fabric that's got fibers and, you know, threads to it on a sticky mat. Okay, it cuts it out beautifully. Now you have to get that fabric off of that sticky mat. So if you were to actually, you know, we take our spatula tool, we put it underneath and we wiggle to get it off the mat, to get it off easily without so much fraying. Material magic, it makes it almost like a cardstock or like a paper, in my opinion, where it gives it that stiffness. So now when I take it off that mat, I'm not going to get all that fraying. And again, I travel a lot with all my pieces and stuff. And sometimes it takes me a while to sew them all together to get to that step. So I, I do. So what do you do with Tyrell Magic is you actually take your fabric, you you know spray Tyrell Magic all over it and scrunch it up a little bit. I usually do it in... Um, an old cardboard box or something like that. And then you lay it out flat. I use an old scan and cut. Um, one right here? I thought I had one. Oh, it's over there. Um, I use an old scan and cut uh, protector sheet, you know, that you put on your mat. I had one for a 12 by 24 mat that the mat died. So I just kept that plastic sheet and actually put it on my cutting board. And then I put all my fabric there, lay it there to dry. And then once after 10 minutes or so, it dries a little bit and then hit it with your iron, no steam, just with your regular iron. And it just makes it flat, ready to cut. So I love it. And honestly, I usually batch do mine, especially if I'm going to do a large quilt. It works out beautifully. I just went on a tangent. I'm like, oh, come up for air, Courtney. <laughs> Let's see. Um, da -da -da -da. Are we doing a giveaway tonight? Teresa. Teresa. T T Teresa. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for reminding me. Guys, I don't I don't really ever do lives, okay? So I'm, I appreciate. Let's see. Here it is. Oh, comment. Hashtag all brands to be eligible to win a $25 all brands e-gift card. So that is hashtag all brands in the comment section, wherever you are at. And it will actually enter you into win a uh, $25 all brands e-gift card. And that can be used in store at any of our seven locations or on our website, allbrands.com. So thank you, Teresa. I truly appreciate you reminding me because I completely forgot. <laughs> Again, I don't usually, someone put an angry face. Who put why, why an angry face? I'm, I've got a question. It shows me who to. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see. I know it's because I forgot to announce the giveaway. She was like, what? Are we not doing a giveaway? I'm just kidding. Uh, sometimes people accidentally hit it. And me and Barbara were like, do you think they were mad at us? Let's see. Anne said, do you just spray and dry, like spray and dry the Tyrell Magic and then cut it or soak the fabric with it. So, so you can spray it to give it a little bit of stiffness. I kind of spray a lot to like soak it in there to really give it some stiffness. Um, but it does not take long, honestly. Oh, sorry, I just my ankles. It does not take long at all. I, I really like using it. And the bottle, like it's a decent sized bottle. There are like the big bottles or the jugs, but I never, I just get the small one. It, it goes a good long while. Let's see. Oh, here, Krista. I would like to see a sale on the fabric roll for the print moda. Oh, you and me both. The yeah, the fabric roll, it's it's a little, it's a little up there. Again, use that coupon to get that price down. And a lot of times they run specials where um, if you buy the, you know, the fabric printer, Brothers New Fabric Printer, if you buy that, they throw in an additional fabric roll. So that is something that happens. 
Why would you need to cut Mylar? Okay, so personally for me, I've used Mylar a couple of times when I was doing Anita Good Design designs. They had, or like Kimberbell, I think does too. They have different parts that you can do in Mylar. So it's that pretty like see through -y kind of thing. One of them that I did was a um, glass a vase. It was supposed to be a vase. And it was, it, the, the vase was made with Mylar. And then they had the pretty flowers. So that's what I've used the Mylar for. It's applique. That's what I'm talking about. Courtney, you say the word applique. It was an applique. And I loved it. It was beautiful. Uh, what video, has video live started? Wondering if I'm having technical difficulties. I'm going to go with yes, Robin, because we are live right now. We've been live about 16 minutes of Courtney rambling. It's great. Um, Barbara, what is the difference between a 325 and a 330? That is my favorite question. Okay. I'm a visual person. So this is actually a 325. Pretend the 330 was here. She's actually across the room. But <laughs> pretend the 330 was here. Okay. So 330, right there. So the 325 has everything that the 330 has. But the 330 has Disney built in. So you get all the Disney designs. Mickey Mouse is in the house. Um, the princesses, there's cars, Buzz Lightyear, I think Monsters, Inc. designs in there. They have some roll theater designs, some rhinestone designs that are all Disney in that machine. Um, so that's, that's, that's the difference. <laughs> that, is, that is the difference. However, I didn't like that. Personally, I was like, there's not, there is a price difference. Um, I didn't think there was enough bang for your buck. I'm sorry, brother. I, again, Courtney, not brother. And we, we do all brands after hours because why is the show called all brands after hours? Because if the owner of all brands does not like something I say, sir, it was after hours. So I didn't think you got enough bang for your buck. And that annoyed me. So what all brands does, only all brands does this, is I created a masterclass for the scanning cut. And we give that free with that 330 machine. So if you do purchase the 330, you actually get a masterclass with me. It is a uh, video recordings and we go how to set up your Wi-Fi, how to set up your Canvas account, how to set up Artsphere, how to link them all, how to every little bit we go through on that machine because I just didn't feel like there was enough bang for your buck. And I wanted to give you more bang for your buck because I'm about making sure that you guys, one, learn the machines, but two, make it worth it for you. So. That is something that all brands does. And I think we also do free shipping on the 325. Um, and then with the 325, if you use the code after hours, when you check out and um, put the rotary blade kit in there, because the rotary blade doesn't come with this 325, it will make the 320, uh, the, the 325, it will make the rotary blade kit free. Where the 330 comes with the rotary blade, comes with your black auto blade and your rotary blade, where the 325 comes with your tan fabric blade and your black auto blade. So that is the difference between them. So let's see. I'm sorry. I was rambled for a while. Also, Courtney, do you ever scan in artwork and turn it into an applique embroidery? If yes, what software do you use to make the satin stitch? Um, great question. So I do it all the time. I love it. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I don't use an outside software. What I do is I actually um, take my so i scan in anything under the sun that i want to into my scanning cut or a design that's already in there and then i send it over to my luminaire machine or my stellaire uh whichever one i want and it will automatically do it through a thing called my connection and it will turn any cut file and it will create a stitch out for me so if i wanted to send over a flower and send it over to that machine it will automatically create that stitches but that only does with a brother luminaire machine or a brother stellaire machine, it will do that function, which is again, my connection. It's so good. Love it. Oh, hey, Carrie. <laughs> Hello, Carrie. She's so sweet. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Do you ever use Mary Best? I used to, and still, uh, until I started doing Tyrell Magic, I did use a lot of um, Mary, was it Best Press? Um, I love their lavender scented one. I want coupons. Yes, I love coupons too. So sign up for our email um, or they're always on our website too. Let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, tell me if I've missed your question. I'm still scrolling. Here we go. Do you just spray and dry the Tyrell Magic then cut? Oh, I already answered that one. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Mary Ellen Best Press. Yes, I've used it before. It's very, very good. Let's see. Wow, 17,000 way to go. I know. <laughs> I, was, I was shocked. I was like, oh, okay. We just hit 16. Okay, cool. Can you use Tyrell Magic with heat and bond light? on the back of the fabric. Yes. 
but if you're putting heat and bond light on the back of it, so usually if you applique, you want to treat it with like a wonder under heat and bond light, uh, hot fix, any of those brands or, you know, whatever one you want to use. I wouldn't though, because it kind of feels a little bit like overkill. Cause if you're putting that heat and bond light on the back of it, that's giving it stiffness right there. Cause I usually keep the paper on, um, fabric side down. So you could, yes, but you really don't have to, if you don't want to. Yeah. I, I usually don't. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, a lot of hashtag all brands. You guys are amazing. Don't forget that if you do hashtag all brands, uh, you are entered into winning a $25 e-gift card. Oh my goodness. I am behind on the comments. Let's see. Da, da, da. You can put, you don't need to. Yeah, exactly. You can put it. You don't have to. Uh, let's see. Can I use steam a seam in the scan and cut? Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, I've done it. It does great. Uh, I would like more movies on or more videos. Gosh, Courtney, more videos on the print moda. I will absolutely do that if you like. I love the print moda. I don't know if you guys know that. I love that machine. Uh, can the heat press be used on my? Can the heat press be used on mylar? That makes me nervous. Yeah, mylar is like not plastic. What would you guys call mylar? It's it. That would make me very nervous to do it. I would try to prevent it if you could. Because uh, the heat press is going to give you high heat and I wouldn't want to warp it, especially if you've used that mylar and applique and it's stitched down. I don't want to accidentally do anything to that. Um, I love being able to chat with you. I love being able to chat with you guys, too. Let me know if you want me to continue to do a live show. After hours will stay as it is because I love that show. But let me know if you guys would want me to do a live show. We kind of played around with the idea of doing a second show uh, where I'm live all the time uh, on a different day. And I think we were thinking about calling it cutting up with Courtney. <laughs> Cause then that way it wouldn't just be scan and cut. And I could do print mode, luminaire, so like I could do all the other things. Um, but after hours, after hours feels like it's a scan and cut thing. I, I can't, I can't change that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Kate. Yeah, I agree. It's closer to a cellophane. Yeah. That's, that's the material I'm thinking too. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Uh, love the lives. Thank you. Yeah, I, the problem is I can't be edited on the live, guys. Um, oh, thank you, Kim. Just learned so much from you. Yes, live shows. <laughs> Please do live shows. Yeah, because usually Barbara Dalla does them um, on the All Brand show. So I kind of leave lives to her, but it would be fun to go live sometimes. Uh, oh, let's see. We have a question. Annie, I'm trying to turn a piece of artwork that is for red work hand embroidery. So that you're saying I can scan that into my Stellaire and turn it into a red work design. I took a picture of it and tried. Yes. So what you would do is you would scan it into your machine. Um, you could scan to cut data. Um, and then send it over wirelessly. So just make sure your wires is set up. Wireless is set up on your, I think you said you had a Stellaire. Yeah, according to your screen. Stellaire. And then make sure your wireless is set up on your scan and cut. Everything is updated to Lily's version. Connect them. Um, and then you'll be able to just send it wirelessly, just back and forth through my connection, which, you know what, we are live, so I could show you the button. That might help. Let's see. Let's see. Wrong button. There we go. All right. Hide the comment. All right. I don't have a design scanned in right now, so let's just go. Oh, you know what? Let's go to retrieve data and grab. I actually have my USB in right now that has designs on it. So let's grab this guy. So if a design already came with, so this was actually a PES design. So if your design already came with the cut file, because some um, different companies are doing that lately, it'll be right here on the, sh the shield. But if you have to create your own, you're going to come to the flower. So we're going to say OK. And this is my PES design. So this is everything, all the little bits. This is just the outside of it. And this is the stitches. The only time you'll need the stitches is when you're doing embossing or something like that. So I'm actually going to come over here to the color sort. Now it's going to break it down in every color that it sees. So if you notice, it took the bird, it took the flower separately and took the leaf separately. It also saw that the center of my flower was a different color. So it took all those out. The little legs were a different color. So it's just sectioning it out. It doesn't know what part of the design is, but it is sectioning it out. So let's grab the bird. Hit OK. All righty. And we're going to unselect the group. Hit set. All right, there she is. So let me see. It's been a while since I've done this. I want to unwield. 
No, I want to go back. Let's see. How am I? There we go. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's go here. Unselect. There we go. Hit OK. And now I can select them out because it was seeing the inner and outer of that satin stitch. And I just actually want the um, outer bit. So now that I have that, I can actually delete this out. It does no good for us. There we go. So now that's how you break up an applique if you wanted to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. OK again. Oops, sorry. I'm going to save that to my machine. Now I could send it wirelessly to my canvas. I could send it back to the USB or to my machine. I'm going to send it to my machine. Sorry if you guys can hear the, uh, <laughs> the police sirens. All right, there we go. All righty. All right, so now that we have that, everything looks great. I love her. She's beautiful, but now I have it saved in my machine. So if I did want to send anything, I could, but that's how you could break it up if you wanted to bring in your own design um, like that with the PES or something like that. There we go. Hope I answered that question. All right, let's see. Ooh, where was I? There we go. Uh, let's see. Yes, all kinds of projects on all machines. Okay, so we might have to do a, a different show, and you guys will be like, I told her to do that. Okay, I was here before. It was cool. That sound not cool. <laughs> don't do it. It shrinks and melts. Oh, the my okay. Terry said, don't do the mylar. Don't put the heat press on that because it's gonna shrink and go funky on you. Thank you, Terry. Um, love your lives. I feel like I'm talking to my girlfriend and having fun. Oh, I love that. Thank you. I'm a hoot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this, that's something my husband always laughs about. He's like, I love that you are you, how you are at home, but on the lives, like on the shows like you you are you i'm like who else am i supposed to be let's see yes cutting up with courtney sounds cool yeah i think we might have to do it i might might have to do it no worries on editing we love you anyway <laughs> i do edit that's well look if we do the live shows there's no bloopers i'll just have those on after hours let's see uh you maybe want a newer skin and cut. i okay so on newer scan and cuts so i've kept every single one of my scan and cuts i have still have my cm uh 650 680 650 pre-auto blade and then i went over to the uh sdx 225 was what i jumped to and the only reason i did that was because of the auto blade because before you had to set your your settings on your blade i think i have one i've been traveling so all of my stuff is everywhere no it's in my uh traveling case um you used to have to set the blade, set the pressure, and you had to know for every little thing that you did, every little thing had a different setting for it. And you had to test cut, test cut, test cut. And then they're like, oh, we have auto blades now. You don't have to do that. What? So I upgraded for that one. Love my 225. Kept, I still have, again, have them both. They're cutting machines because it's all features. Everyone's like, Courtney, what machine do I need? It's all features. Just lay them out. What are the features? Which ones are important to you? And that's how you know what scan and cut to get. So we got to the point where I love my 225. Then they came out with the 325 and the 330. They came out with some others. But in my opinion, those were the ones that I would personally want. And I was like, okay, which one do I get? I got both. <laughs> but the scanning technology from a 225, 230 up to a 325, 330, that was worth it for me. Just the scan. And yes, it had different additional designs. I have a scanning cut. I can put in any design. But that additional scanning, that scan was fantastic so i did upgrade to those machines because of the scanning and because of my connection i have a luminaire and a stellaire brother machine um so with my connection where i can send them back and forth so i can take a embroidery design or an applique from my stellaire or my luminaire machine send it over to my scan and cut to cut it out like cut out my applique so it can read a pes file but then i could also send it back to that machine to create a stitch out so that 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 right there with that that um better image tracing so when i you know scan something in that made it worth it for me that was my personally for me again it's all features so just lay out all the features and see which ones are worth it for you and which ones you like and that's how kind, kind of how you figure out what machine you prefer so can you notice i'm a giant scan and cut nerd i love this all right let's see this uh da -da -da -da. I just, I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone's question. So again, if you're alive with me right now, which is what is today's the 17th of February <laughs> at 631 at night, uh, leave me your questions down below. And if you're not live, leave me your questions also, but um, we can answer them right now. Let's see. And said, but the eyes and dots around the snowflakes di didn't come out. 
So the the one I just did was a flower, and that was actually a stitch part. So I I wouldn't want to make. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but I wouldn't make that into an applique. The flower part and the bird were the only applique uh, fabric parts. The rest of it was actually stitches. If that's what we're saying, let's see. Courtney Live is awesome. You make all of us smile with your wit and charm. You are so kind, Barbara Jones. Oh my gosh, you are so nice. Um, how about doing the first Saturday of the month live? We will see. We will see. I I will see. Because, guys, I actually have to physically come up here to the office. Um, so I'm not home right now. <laughs> we'll see, though. All righty. Can we pay for your MasterCards for Scanica? Yes, they do have that on our website. Um, if you already have the 330, it gets... If you buy it from us, we actually include the masterclass, but they did make the masterclass um, an item that you can purchase on our website. Just if you type in Skin and Cut Masterclass, it should come up on our website. And I'm still editing it because I'm a perfectionist and I keep wanting to add stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can a brother cut a laminated sheet? Microns. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to say yes because I don't see why not. I've never personally done it, but I don't see why it couldn't. Laminated sheet. So you laminated something and you want to put that in a machine. Well, that's not, I mean, the skin of cut can do up to a three millimeter thickness. That's gonna, gonna be as thick as a three millimeter. So yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. If anyone's done it, say it in the comments. Uh, can the 225DX send designs to Stellaire, but Stellaire cannot send a design to the skin and cut right? Uh, no, you don't have full access to my connection. Yep. That was, they added that for the 325 and the 330. Yep. So there is not, um, so the 225 and the 230 can read a PES file, but they cannot send back to create the uh, stitch out. Yep. All right. Miss Linda. Hey, Miss Linda. Um, which scan of cut do I want? <laughs> She's like, Pick it for me. This is a choose your own adventure thing. Um, to uh, SCX 330 or 325 to talk to the Slayer. What is the advantages of each? Okay. So the first question I'm going to ask you, Miss Linda, is do you care about Disney? Because some people are like, I don't care about Disney. And some people are like, yes, I love Disney because they go on Disney trips a lot. They're doing custom Disney shirts. That was a huge thing. A lot of people tell me is they actually um, do Disney shirts. I know I'm supposed to say that you are not supposed to sell Disney things um, because a, a police officer with a badge in the shape of a mouse is going to come after you. Um, they're doing it for personal use. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. They're totally doing it for personal use, right, guys? <laughs> so that, that's a huge difference. Um, the rotary blade, which I love if you're cutting fabric, love the rotary blade um, that comes with the 330 where it doesn't come with the 325. So that is something. However, if you go on our website and add the rotary blade in the uh, rotary blade kit in your cart with the 325 scanning cut and you use the code after hours in the coupon section, it will make that rotary blade kit free. That that is between you and your machine. <laughs> That's the Hey, <laughs> she just went on my guy. Um, so that's that's personal preference, but the, that's how I make the decision in my head. Um, cutting up with Courtney is a great name. Yeah, that's usually when I name things. When people, if I tour, um, oh God, it scared me. I was like, what is the noise? Um, if I, when I go tour the different things they want me to do class, that's just kind of the blanket name. I name things. Uh, thanks for showing the split of the design for applique. Yeah, it's super easy. I love doing applique with my machine. Will the uh, 225F send to the Stellar XE1 that has the upgrade? Not to do the stitches. No, nope. you need a 325 or a 330 to do that. Uh, please show us some pics of your family at Disney. Oh, Elaine. Um, I don't think I can. I don't, I, well, I have my phone here. I don't have my tablet here with me right now. Um, and it's just on my phone, but I will, um, oh, hey, look, we're live. <laughs> I will uh, maybe include that in next week's video at the end or something like that with the bloopers. Um, and we had a lot of fun, way too much fun way too much fun that was i'm not a disney person but um our kids every time my little four-year-old said wow i started crying <laughs> every time i was like oh i love this he's making memories uh yes i can have the cm1 
Yep, I have the CM. We love love a CM. It's still a scan and cut. It still scans. It still cuts. It's all features. Yeah. What is the code to get the rotary blade with the scan and cut? Does it come with a holder? It comes with everything. So make sure you're putting the rotary blade kit. Um, which do I have? It. I do. Oh, I love that I'm a hoarder sometimes. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like that. Oh God, am I drowning it out? Look, you know what? Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see. There we go. Woo woo. Go back here. All right. That's what it looks like. Let me take away the comment. Uh, how do I take away the comment? There we go. That's what it's going to look like. Oh, gosh, this shot was not made for this. There we go. That's what it looks like. It says Alex. I always remember it because that is my son's name. So it says Alex on it. So put that rotary blade kit uh, in your cart when you're buying the SDX 325. And then um, it will make or so if you put that both in your cart, then the code after hours in the coupon field, it will make this rotary blade kit completely free. And this kit alone is like $60 or up. Um, so you will get a free rotary blade kit. So love that. Let's see. Let's switch back to me. There we go. Put that down there. So I just, I keep the boxes. I'm a visual person. I'm a visual person. You never know when you need the box. Hey, look, it came in handy. I think it's, uh, would you get to that time in your life where you're like, that's a good box. Let me keep that box. Let's see. All right, it was Carol. Uh, when creating the red work, can you set up a different different areas to stitch different colors, like an iron-on applique design that you want to make by machine embroidery and not hand embroidery? Yes. Yeah. So it well, okay. So when you're creating red work, can you set up a different area to stitch different colors? Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, you're choosing. You can add a stop. So if you're selecting the different areas, depending on your machine, you can add one of those stops in between them. So that way you can just change the colors. That's what I, that's how I would do it. Um, loving the bracelet. That's my sister, guys. <laughs> and her her daughter made me the bracelet. So, yes. Thank you, Angela Grace. I, I loved it. Um, Aunt Coco loves her bracelet. So thank you. Let's see. Uh, any, wait. You're supposed to be at dinner right now, Krista. <laughs> Are you all back at the house? Like, please tell me you're not at your Valentine's dinner underneath the table watching the live show. I appreciate the dedication. Uh, let's see. Any word from Brother RE Fabric Matt on Rhinestone Star? So they got, they discontinued the Rhinestone Star kit. I know. I Don't kill the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. I know. Um, they discontinued it. I was heartbroken because I love that kit. Um, it was so cool, but they, it was like one of the first kits and I think that they had come out with, so they might've seen it ran its course or something. I don't know. Um, but for Iver, Matt, you guys, so between me and you in August is when they're going to tell us the new things. So I'm, I'm going out, I think we're in Austin. Don't, don't come stalk me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is when I go to find out the new things. And if they have a fabric mat 12 by 24, I'm going to cry. It's, I'm just, I'm just going to lose it. So right now I don't know, but I will find out in August if they have it. Cool. If not, I'm sad and I'll start using a cricket. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, I have the 230. Can I trade it for a 330? Um, so we don't do trade-ins on scan and cuts, but uh, I always say you could sell it online um, safely. <laughs> through like Facebook marketplace or something like that, or gift it to someone um, to purchase the uh, different models. It's usually what I see people do. What are the advantage of each of the newer ones? Highlights. Um, the For the three, 325 and the 330 was, for me, was the image tracing and my connection with, were the biggest ones. Yes, there was additional designs and fonts and stuff, but like I need, I need what is the actual, you know, the biggies for me that made it worth it. I can scan any design in. So more designs. Yes, it's cool, but like I have a scanning cut. I can scan anything in. Um, as Barbara Jones said, as soon as I win the lottery, I'm going to upgrade to the latest and greatest. In the meantime, I have a whole lot of S uh, USB sticks. Hey, that works. There you go. Let's see. Tammy. Hi, Courtney. I have images on a piece of fabric. Can the scan and cut scan the images and cut them out? Yes, it can. How? So if you're wanting to like fussy cut, I always call it fussy cut. So say we had a fabric. Let's see. Do I have a fabric? Ah, okay. So, well, this wouldn't really work because it's like a bunch of little bitty flowers. But, okay, so say I wanted to scan this in and I wanted to cut out these little red flowers. So, what I would do is put this on a fabric mat. I would scan and I look, let me actually show you. I forget that we're live. Courtney, pick the button, any button. Hey, that button. All right, so let's go home. Hit okay. All right, so oops, let me move your comment. There we go. So, we're going to want to scan. 
and then we're going to want to direct scan. Most of the time we scan to cut data because that we're wanting to bring it into the machine to be able to edit it and change it and stuff like that. But if we're wanting to scan and actually cut out the thing we're scanning and go and pick parts of it, we're going to do a direct cut. And that's going to actually scan in the whole image. And then we can actually um, fine tune like, hey, I just want to cut out these flowers over here or just want to cut out these and we can pick and choose what we want to cut out of out of our fabric. So if you had a fabric that said had uh, a pattern on it, super, super easy. You scan it in. It's going to find that outline of that pattern and you could tell it to cut it out. Love the scanning cut. Love the scanning cut. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, can you do the applique and embroidery by using USB from 225 and Estelair 2? No, not that I'm aware of. Um, because it has to go through my connection to do it. Um, so when you actually take your Stellar and you bring it up to the latest model, it's going to show you a scan and cut image and you actually select that. And that's how it's going to talk from the Stellar to the scan and cut. Let's see. Um, what is the password for the rotary cutter to come with your purchase, uh, after hours? So all caps after hours. Let's see. Hi. Hi, Courtney. Caught you a bit late tonight. I'll watch the replay after. Yeah, I talked for a while. Oh, my God. 42 minutes. Guys. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have any videos with scan and cut, Stellar, and print moto combos? Yeah. So it's called, uh, it, hold on. It was the Luminaire. Your Stellar can do what I did in there with the Luminaire. Your Stellar can do it um, because I didn't do anything that was exclusive to Luminaire. There are a few things, but I didn't do anything in that video. So it, it's me doing this and it's the brother trifecta. That's the video I did every single one of them. I used them all together. I created my fabric with the brother print moda in Art Spira, printed it out. This is when we did the Disney shirt. Uh, brought the design into my scan and cut and I actually cut out an A and I had scanned in the fabric because it was fabric with all the different Disney characters and I wanted to make sure that Buzz Lightyear and Woody and Mickey were in that design because I was making it for my little boy for Disney and he loved it. Oh, also, he showed it to Buzz Lightyear. He was like, he didn't say anything to him. He's four. Didn't say anything. He just pointed to where the Buzz Lightyear was on his shirt and Buzz was like, because, you know, he can't say anything either. It was it was a whole mute conversation. It was great. Um, brought that in there, cut that out. And then I sent it over to my Luminaire to actually create the stitch out file. And then I even added a Mickey on it because, of course, I did. <laughs> so, yeah, brother trifecta video um, that we did a couple of weeks ago. We used all three. Yeah. You guys have a lot of... Um, questions like th through my connection have done the my connection video but like I can do it again if you guys want uh I just got my scan and cut 325 and I did not get the rotary blade kit is it possible to get it I just got it when we go did purchase through us uh reach out to customer service and they will let you know because I I don't know let's see let's see da -da -da -da. okay I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any any of the questions Oh, <laughs> Cynthia, buy the best, then you won't have any regrets. Yeah, that's, I've heard that quite a lot. Um, I just, I always tell people, uh, just, it's all features. Just look at the features that you feel like you can't live alone or live without. Um, and there you go. You'll be happy. All right. Mar uh, Marina said, love watching your shows, still debating and wondering if I'll be able to learn. I'm a longtime Cricut user. It's okay. We still love you. <laughs> uh, it's super easy. And I've done a ton of videos that are like, Scan and cut 101, 102. I think those are older videos and my voice was going out, bless it. Um, but we've done, you know, breaking them up. And that's why I started doing videos because I felt like there wasn't enough education out there on the scan and cut. So a lot of people were going to crickets and to silhouettes and then and later down the road, seeing a scan and cut and going, oh, well, that's what I wanted to do. Or, oh, you know, I don't have to go through a software. I could just go in the machine because she's an all-in-one machine. Yes, there's software and yes, it's free, but you don't have to use it if you're not a software person. Or if you are a software person and you love that, well, then they have that available to you. So I like them both. But yeah, scan and cut, awesome. I love the machine. So far, I have not found anything that my scan and cut scan and cut cannot do and believe me i put it there the ringer um just bought the rotary blade kit but haven't used it yet i've done it going to hit a light um i've done a video just on the rotary blade kit how to um put it on your my canvas account how to do all of that so highly recommend that and then i go through um all the designs you get let's see i wish brother could add the connectivity to the uh 230 
I have one and bought in 2020 that I love and in great condition. I've upgraded XE to an XE2, right? Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know if it's a firmware thing. I'm not sure. I'm not a tech, but yeah. This is why I have so many scanning cuts. <laughs> can you use Ready Play with the 225? Yes. Yes, you can. I've done it. Yes, you can use it, Donna. All righty. Let's see. Uh, yes, Family Picks would be great. We had a blast. We had a blast. And when I tell you I got starstruck by Mickey, okay, <laughs> I'm not even one of the kids. And I'm like, it's the mouse. <laughs> it's okay. It got weird. Uh, hi, Courtney. I've been having, oh, let's see. I'm having trouble getting my fonts that I cut on my scanner cut to match up in the size on my machine. What do we mean? So is, okay. So what I usually recommend is when you're doing an applique, bump it up to. And what I mean is you're going to hit that plus sign for the size one or two times, because think about it. Whenever your scan and cut is cutting out an applique that you've brought in, it's reading that stitch line. So it's on the line. And I don't know about you, but when I push down or put down my applique piece, I might not be exact. Okay. The machine, the machine did all the work. That was the one job I had. <laughs> and sometimes I don't do it straight. So just bumping up just a little bit in size gives me that little bit of reassurance that it's going to, it's going to catch. And that pretty satin stitch is going to you know, catch everything and there's not going to be any gaps. So that's what I personally do um, whenever I do an applique because I don't trust myself. Uh, I have a PR 1055 embroidery machine. I love that machine. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, uh, yes, I think machines are pretty. <laughs> I work here, okay. Um, yeah, I, I would bump it up too and then you're good. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's see, is the masterclass for the 325 also? I say the 330 and I use the 330 in the masterclass, but it can, I can switch over to both. So yeah, just exclude the mouse in the house. And when I say the rotary blade comes free in your machine and you're fine. Yeah. Um, because we made that for Houston Quilt Festival, because again, I just feel like you should get more with the 330. Um, so that's why I did it on that machine. Uh, is your sister the one you make things for? And can you adopt me too? Uh, yes, I actually do things for both. Um, and random friends. Uh, and sometimes I hear through the grapevine, they're like, hey, so-and-so wanted to know if you could. And usually I say yes, but sometimes lately with me traveling so much, I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't right now. So yes, I can adopt you. Um, hey mom, we have another sister. Um, there's three of us, so now there's four. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I do a lot with her. Uh, I wish she lived closer. Did they, glad I have my kit. Yeah, they discontinue the rhinestone kit. I know, I know. Ah, uh, dime cut and stitch does want rhinestones. I love dime products. Love dime products. Let's see. Jane, is there a problem with the fabric mats that are out? Okay, so this is just me getting excited. So then when the 225 came out in the 230, if you notice the 225 has an F behind it. Um, I don't know if the 230 is, but it had an F. That was for fabric because that's when the fabric mat came out. And there, there was a loading issue and it was driving me a little insane. So they said that it, they fixed it with an update, which is again why you should always register your machine on Canvas because it will let you know if there's an update, if you're on Wi-Fi and you've done all that. So they said when they did that, it fixed all this was years ago. It fixed all that. I haven't noticed any lately. Um, but that, that was a loading issue at the, at the start of it. And remember, Courtney, not brother. And this is my biggest pet peeve with oh sorry click that um with it is that the new mats okay so if you notice there's the arrow the arrow shows you where to feed it into your machine well with the old scan and cut mats back with the cm models there used to be an arrow on both sides because you could feed it in yeah. on either side but with the sdx they put this little cutout right here because they wanted you to, you know, be able to hang your mats if you wanted to because again you don't, you know, you don't want to damage your mats. So they were like, "Oh, we'll do that." But now you can't feed it on both sides. They took the arrow away, which if there was a corner of your mat that got messed up, you could just flip it over and use the other side and keep using your mats. Now, if you damage the corner of the side that has the arrow, your mats are done. So that if that, that if they could change the mats, I would I don't Get rid of the damn hole. <laughs> I don't care about, I, I guess sometimes I hang my mats, but I would rather be able to scan it in on both sides or feed it in on both sides than being able to hang it. That's me personally. And one of you might be like, no, I love hanging it. Don't totally cool. I actually store my mats back here on a little shelf thing and I lay them flat at home. I have them in a Ikea, like Alex shore, but it's the long one. 
so I don't really hang them up a ton. So that's personal preference. Uh, long rant over. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Thank you for explaining about direct cut. Always wanted to know what that was for. Yeah, that's what I personally use. It is fussy cutting out my fabrics. But you could, you, it doesn't even have to be fabric. So say you had a cardstock that had designs on it. Like I had a floral one the other day and I really wanted to cut out the flower on there. I just direct cut it, cut out the flower and I did this really pretty card for my friend. So that's, you could use it for anything that you want to do. It's when you want to scan in a thing and cut that exact thing. You don't want to edit. You don't want to change it. You want to cut out that exact thing. That's what direct cut is for. Um, can you cut the material from print moda on the cutter? Yes. So I did it in the trifecta video. I've done it in a few videos, but in that trifecta video, it was the actual um, print mode of fabric. So the print mode of fabric is 100% cotton broadcloth. And uh, it's, it's so good. I don't, do I have any right here? No. <laughs> it's like, I was looking around. Do you have any? I brought that shirt home that I made. Um, it's 100% cotton broadcloth. There's a clear sheet that's on the back of it that you peel off once it comes out of the printer. And it's just it's soft, beautiful fabric. I love it. So, yes. And it does so good. It's so good. It's good. Um good quality. I understand that's kind of expensive and I think that's why. So that hopefully they'll come out with um, some different variations or different types. So not just broadcloth, if they could come out with different kinds of fabric, that would be cool. Again, Courtney, not brother. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, Tammy, all oh, thanks. You so much, Courtney. Can't wait to try that feature. You are the best. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate that. Uh, when is the giveaway? <laughs> I know. You're like, all right, wrap it up, Court. When's the giveaway? Don't don't forget if you haven't already put hashtag all brands in that comments down below or wherever you see the comments, and it will automatically enter you into when a $25 e-gift card. I already see 106 of you have done that already. Oh my goodness. All righty. Uh, what's your suggestion on cleaning the fabric mat? So if uh let's see, I actually have it right here. You grab it. Ooh, there we go. Uh, it's totally awesome. So we're not affiliated with them in any way. If you've ever watched the show before, you always hear me talk on and on about this. If you go to the Dollar Tree, if you have one near you, uh, I think someone told me they saw it at Home Depot in like the big jugs. There's different places that sell it. It's LA's totally awesome. What you're going to do is you're going to take a mat. You're going to spray it down. Do not dilute this in any kind of way. Do not change this in any kind of way. We want full strength. You're going to spray down. You're going to take... A scraper tool, old credit card, or something like that. I like the brother one. And you're going to push it around. You're not scraping. You're just pushing it with the gunk around. You're going to take a... I actually do this all the time. So I have all the stuff near me. You're going to take a paper towel. You're going to wipe your mat down. It's going to be real weird because it's not sticky. And you're like, wait, a paper towel on my fabric mat? Isn't that going to go to shreds? No, because that totally awesome's on it. So you're going to wipe it down. You're going to leave it there without the protective cover to dry. And then it's going to bring back all that sticky. I love it. It's good stuff. Very, very good stuff. I always have it nearby. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, is there an upgrade or premium version of image tracing available? So there used to be. So if you ever see something about image tracing feature being upgraded, that was for the previous models. The new machines, they're, they're the best out there. So there is not an upgrade. Um, <laughs> Oh, I show that show. It was great. <laughs> oh, you saw that one. Yeah. Let's see. Can you scan an applique pattern without the scan, wait, into the scan and cut and cut the pieces with heat and bond on the back? Yes, I've done it uh, on a few ones. We did that on, we did that on the trifecta video. Anytime I ever do a shirt, like I, I'm going to treat it. Why not? Because it's a step that you have to do. So why not just do it together? I'm lazy and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So what I do is I do fabric side down on my fabric mat with that treated back. So the heat and bond light or whatever it is on the back of it. And I cut it out. Some people like to do uh, paper side down on a low tech mat. I personally don't because sometimes I might have not ironed on that heat and bond light and the paper might slip. Well, I'm more worried about my fabric than I am about that paper. So I'm going to secure my fabric down. I'm just going to flip my design in my machine and then I'm good to go. So personal preference, but yeah, it's so good. I do, I just do it both. And some people are like, well, Courtney, you're doing it with your fabric blade or your rotary blade. Aren't you worried you're going to dull your blade because it's cutting through paper? No, <laughs> I, I'm not because I'm more worried about getting a nice crisp cut on my applique. So it's not going to kill my blade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. And I have a blade in my head that is my blade that I use for uh, applicates. So I'm, I'm fine with it. Let's see. 
Can a scanning cut be used to edge glass? Yes, it can. So I love being live. I can just like stand up and show you guys things. Great. So we've done this. We actually have a uh, a video that we did on our channel where we made this floor to lee right here. Or did we make this flower? You know what? We made the flower on the show. Let's see if I put it in front of me. There we go. So we've actually done, we've done, there we go. Let's see, maybe if I hold it up closer, maybe it's in front of me. There we go. So we've done these on the show that we actually etch glass on the show. So I highly recommend those videos. If you want to learn how to etch glass, it does so good. <laughs> I actually really do it. And for a wedding gift, that is my go-to wedding gift, is a, a, a set of wine glasses with the new initial, because you know a bride. A new bride loves to get her new name on things, her new initials. So I do that, or a casserole dish, and you etch the bottom of it. So when you look into the casserole dish, it says their new last name. And then I do the little top of the casserole dish, with pressure sensitive vinyl with their new last name and then i get a carrying case and i either embroider or use heat transfer vinyl on top of that so all the pieces have their name so then when they go to christmas dinner or thanksgiving or whatever it is they can get all their pieces back and then they're excited about a gift with their new name i get the longest thank you cards um when i do that and it's so easy so easy to do all righty can the skin and cut communicate with baby locks Solaris? solaris sorry um not that i'm aware of but i'm not uh fully educated on baby lock machines because I am a brother girl. So I can't do my connection. I know that it cannot do my connection. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to use the scan and cut SDX 325 to cut applique designs to make St. Patrick's Day placement uh, placemats this year. That is awesome, Jenny. Make sure because I know you're part of that scan and cut uh, Facebook group. When you do that, I want to see pictures. That's the easiest way to show me pictures is joining that Facebook group because I check it every day, all day. <laughs> a refresher on my connection would be great. Okay, I will make sure to do a video on my connection coming up. Let's see. A 330 is on my Christmas list. I know where you can get it, Margie. I know where you can get it. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Courtney from Oregon. Question, can I take my pattern I have and scan it just it then... I think we might have we might have lost the question. Yes, you could take it in any pattern that you have. You can scan it in. Yes. Let's see. I loved your tutorial on etching glass. I etched a set of six wine glasses for a wedding present. See, Veronica knows. <laughs> Let's see, Cindy. Uh, I have my skin and cut and never used it yet. <gasps> Cindy, why? <laughs> I'm really into my luminaire for now because I have a colon. Oh, I have colon cancer and I'm trying to do what I can. Oh, well, I hope you feel better. And um, scan and cut is really fun. And it's really fun when you connect it with my, with the uh, luminaires. So you have the, the fun new thing. Connie, 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 you're now a member of the All Brands Behind the Seams. Ah, oh, awesome. Well, congratulations. I'm so excited to have you as a member. That is awesome. Let's see. Uh, when are the newest being released? Uh, I don't know. So again, brother's going to tell me new products in August. Last year, they did not come out with a new scan and cut. I don't know if they're coming out with a new one this year. I They don't tell me. I find out exactly when you guys find out. That's a lie. I found out a little bit ahead of time. But so far, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Miss Linda, I am in the same boat. Uh, so I'm going to get a new one to, to talk to my Slayer. Oh, to do my connection. Yeah. Crazy question. I love crazy questions. But could you snap a picture of like a printed pillowcase and have still air embroidered versus hand embroidering? Can you snap a picture of like a printed pillowcase and have still air embroidered versus? I'm trying to like break down in my head what you mean. Um. Can you snap a picture of it and then send it over to your Stellar to embroider? Yes. Um, trying to think how you could go about that. Because my connection really likes doing applique. But, you know, you have um, my design center. So you could probably do that through my design center. That is a great question. Let's see. I switched from a Cricut to a Scan and Cut. I love them both, but being able to scan is a game changer. Built-in scanner. Yep, it's good. Uh, I bought a Cricut for the rotary blade scanning. What? I bought Cricut for the rotary blade scan and cut. Didn't have to back then. I'm not sure. What to... 
sorry, the air turned on and I was like, what in the world is that? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, Australia, I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> it's okay. Taylor Swift's over there with you guys. You can be late. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I will finish my sentence. Here we go. Then I lay my fabric down and then just, just my pattern scan and cut it out. Okay, I will finish my sentence. Then lay my fabric down and then just, just my pattern scan, cut it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You just scan in your fabric and then it should be able to cut out your pattern. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's live. <laughs> Hi. Hi, April. Let's see. Ha ha, Linda, she really is best. That's my sister. I am. All right. I'm just kidding. She's going to kill me later for that one. My mom the other day, she was like, you said hi to me. I was all excited. I'm like, okay. Um, again, they, they don't know what I do. Uh, let's see. Patty, can I do applique with my SDX 230D and my PR655 with a USB? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes. So just take whatever the design on the USB, put it into your 230. It will automatically turn that into a cut file and then take that uh, USB, put it in your 655 when you're ready to applique and you're good to go. Let's see. Where do I find scan and cut videos? Uh, you go onto our YouTube channel um, and go to our YouTube channel, which is all brands and my face is all over it. And I do a ton of scan and cut videos. Yeah. Uh, I did treats for Santa, but some of the letters didn't cut out right. Is there a way to cut, to cut the words back out? So it was leaving gaps in your cut. Okay, so if you ever have where you feel like the scan and cut didn't cut through, check your blade, because um, there might be debris in there. So you're just gonna make sure that there's nothing crazy in there. Oh, I have a lot of stuff in mine. <laughs> make sure there's nothing uh, in there. And you should be fine to go. You never really have to mess with pressures for an STX or anything like that. So I would make sure that one, the mat's holding it down properly and there wasn't any movement and there was nothing, no debris in your machine. Um, if you really like if the blades getting dull, it might be time to replace the blade. If the blade's brand new, like I said, check and make sure there's no debris in there. Alrighty. I've learned so much from all of your educational videos. Thank you, Melinda. I appreciate that. Let's see, does the 330 and the 230 use the same mats? Yes, they do. Yeah, they use the same mats. The only time you'll ever have where a machine won't use the same mats as each other is the CM models. Uh, Pre-Auto Blade will use a different mat than the SDX, which is Auto Blade. So whenever you're buying the blades, look at the SKU number. If it says the words, um, so it'll have like a bunch of different words but it'll have DX in there. So look for the letters DX. If you see DX, that means auto blade for the newer machines. You're good to go. If you don't see DX, that means for it's the CM. That's the easiest way I can tell. Uh, the mats also look a little different. Uh, again, one of them has the hole where the CM models don't have that hole and where you can feed in both sides. They also have all of these squares on the SDX ones where they don't have that on the old CM model. Let's see. Um, how come there isn't a cutout on the black scanning mat? Can I put a hole on the mat so I can hang it on the scan? Oh, oh, okay, on the scanning mat. Oh, I have one right here. Oh, let's see. So uh, she's saying there's not a hole at the bottom. I would be really nervous to put a hole. If you're going to do it, do it at the bottom. Uh, don't do it where that top part is. I don't know why. That's a great question. I don't know why there is not a hole on that one. Um, on the scanning mat, I would be really nervous to put a hole in any of the mats because I feel like they're kind of finicky when something goes on. Um, I would be real nervous because then you'd have to buy a new one. So I'm going to say don't do it personally. Um, I, I just wouldn't. All right. Ms. Jan said, one of my mats wouldn't load. I shaved a slight but a bit off at the end of the mat with a rotary with the rotary blade cutter and haven't had any trouble since oh okay. <laughs> i don't i get nervous again about changing anything on the mat because if it if it says hey i can no longer feed this in it's done so um do you know the thread count of the print mode of fabric i don't i don't it's high quality broadcloth i'm so sorry i don't know off the top of my head and i don't want to tell you something and lie to you hashtag all rinse hashtag all rinse um Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to miss any of y'all's questions. Uh, I really like After Hours. I've learned so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. I really enjoy doing them, and we've created a great community, and I love it. After Hours is the best part of my week. Thanks. Oh, Robbie. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are really nice. 
My first time catching love. I'm a hoot, Debbie. <laughs> I am a hoot. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm running through trying to make sure I don't miss anything because I've been going for an hour and five minutes. I like how I told my husband, 45 minutes max. He knows better. Bless his heart. Let's see. Courtney, I'm spending time with my husband and we are watching your live show. He said he likes your show. Really? You guys are so nice. Aww. See, John, this is why I go over 45 minutes. John's my husband, if you don't know. <laughs> what blade mat do I use for cutting fun foam? Fun foam? What's fun foam? Is that like, um, is that like puffy foam? It's like the three millimeter. Let's see if I have any on me. Uh, probably. No, that's, let's see. If I do, it would be in here. Ah, yes, I do. Ha! You mean like this? It's like, uh, let me show you up close. No, wrong button, Courtney. There, it's like this. It's like a three millimeter thick foam. Is this what you mean? Because yes, it does. And it cuts it like butter and it's fantastic. I absolutely adore it. Let's see. If that's what you mean, yes, it does a great job and I love it. Let's see. Oh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Uh, I love that show. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, first use a fabric mat. I almost destroyed it with heat and bond side down. Oh, no. Because heat and bond light is, um, is that some right here? I'm like, while I'm here, oh yeah, here, this is heat and bond light. So, okay, there's a bunch of heat and bond light. So it's like a paper and it's got this side. Let's see. It's got this side that's like, um, textured. So you hear that? And then it's got a paper side that's smooth. So the heat and bond light side, this texture part, that's what you iron down on your fabric. So you'd put that bumpy side down on your fabric and then paper side up whenever you're cutting it out and stuff. So she accidentally put that paper down on uh, that fabric mat. And again, the fabric mat is your most sticky mat that you have. And Totally Awesome got it off. Yep, Totally Awesome is awesome. Let's see. There we go. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Uh, what is the Facebook site? It is a uh, brother scan and cut with all brands after hours. It's the Facebook group. Yep. Uh, have you done this video on simply applique yet? No, I haven't. And that is on my list, Ginger. I need to do it. You're right. You are right. I need to do it. I need to do it. Let's see. Um, I am going to upgrade to a 325 so I can use the, my Stellar XC2. Yeah. If you have a Stellar or a Luminaire, it's kind of, it's kind of amazing. It's not kind of amazing. It is amazing. Uh, I used my scanning cut earlier to cut bunnies for a mud rugs using hot fix. There are, ooh, these are the reason I, this is the reason that I purchased the scan and cut as my poor arthritic, arthritic hands just can't cut much anymore. The I have carpal tunnel. So yeah, I totally understand. I don't even know where my applique scissors are anymore and good riddance to them. <laughs> uh, I am, I'm enjoying all of your knowledge. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Uh, I love to see a smaller format scan and cut. I really need to do a design that is that big as 12 inch allows. A mini version with Wi-Fi and my connection would be amazing. Oh, so you know what? That is the first time I've ever heard someone wanting a smaller version. Usually people are wanting to go larger because I know that um, Caesar has like the Juliet and there's other machines that are do a little bit wider, but they don't have all the built in cool features. So I am more, I like all the technology and the built in cool features than I am about a wider cut. So you're right. If, if they had a smaller scan and cut that was um, maybe like this big and do a smaller thing, but had all the built-in stuff. But again, the screen is humongous on the scan and cut. It's huge. So I love that. So if they could keep the screen and then just like, that would be cool. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, love your lives. Thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate that. When you guys do give a thumbs up, uh, YouTube and Facebook, they push us out more. So more people uh, find us and then more people learn about their machine. So I appreciate that because we love some education. Uh, did you ever, did you have a good time at Disneyland? Yeah, I went to Disney World and it was so much fun. I am exhausted. Why did you guys not warn me? That I was going to be this, my feet were killing me. <laughs> I literally, I opened, we stayed on a resort, like in the Disney resort. So we got 30 minutes or got in 30 minutes early to the park. So I was like, well, if we get this feature, we should use it. Because again, I'm all about features. We open the park every night and we close the park every night. And my kids were troopers and they had a blast and it was so much fun. So loved it. Oh, 
I actually met one of you guys there. So I, I don't, I didn't really get to talk to her much. She was super cool. I didn't catch her name. So I'm so sorry if you did see me at Disney World. Hi, it was great to meet you. I had all my kids with me. So she just came up and she was like, hey, just wanted to say, I love the show. I love what you're doing. Um, I really, really, uh, you know, I'm learning my machine because of you. Thank you so much. I'm not going to bother you. I see you have your kids. So I just wanted to tell you that. And I was like, oh, hi, hello. So if you saw me there, I didn't catch your name. I'm so sorry, but it was wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. Uh, that was that was a really cool, that was a cool moment. And one of you noticed my father-in-law at the Disney parks. We were in two different areas at the time at the same park. And they came up to him and they were like, wait a second, are you John Dowden? And he was like, yeah, is he in trouble? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so that was super cool. And you got to meet Barbara. She told me about it. That was so, so, so cool to get you get, meet you guys there. Uh, the inside of the E and the A didn't cut out. Ah, I wish I could see the scan. So was the scan or a built-in design? Let me know, Robbie. Let's see. Um, I hang my mats with uh, pant hangers with clips. Okay, be careful. Make sure it's at the bottom and not at the top because the pop top is where it feeds in the machine and it will get funky. Uh, I encourage the CM owners to bite the bullet and get yourself the DX model. It truly will be worth the investment for the auto blade. Yep, the auto blade. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, can you do a video on cutting the material with print mode? I have. Uh, Brother Trifecta I did. And uh, there was another video. It was a Halloween video and we made a pillow. I have before on the show, but I can always do it again. <laughs> you don't have to tell me again. I love doing it. Let's see. Love seeing you over Saturday. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate that. Uh, can you do some lessons on Canvas Workspace? So I have two that are just dedicated to Canvas Workspace on our channel right now, but a few different videos I incorporate Canvas Workspace, but I do have two that are just on Canvas Workspace. Yes, love Canvas Workspace. Prep Moda cotton fabric is not pre-washed, I assume, but do you have any recommendations to treat the fabric after printing for shrinkage? I don't. I I am really bad about washing my fabric. Um, but I haven't noticed anything on the applique shirt that I made my son. Whenever I didn't pre-shrink it, and I made that applique shirt, and he wore it to Disney, used and abused it, and I've washed it a few times, and I haven't noticed any like significant shrinkage on that. Let's see, I will let you know if I do though. Uh, is is it like the sheets you get for Michael for kids? The print motor or the, the, I'm not sure which one we're talking about. Uh, let's see. Connection froze up. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, which blade for foam? I, I personally like the black auto blade. I am so behind in the comments. I'm going to try to speed up. I am so sorry, guys. Uh, what blade do you use for puppy on the black one? <laughs> there you go. Uh, how do you set up the machine for fun foam, blade mat, etc.? Uh, I would put it on at least a standard purple mat and I would use your black auto blade. And then on your side of your machine, there is a one or a two little bar. If you have a 325 or a 330, um, that bar is on the top. So if you have that, switch it up to a two because that's going to make, if you notice right here, see it? Makes that internal bar come up or down to be able to do thicker materials. Let's see. When I used to see a model, I used to cut my backed fabric in the regular mat with paper side down and it never had an issue. That's awesome, Elizabeth. Let's see. If a machine uses PES and has wireless connection, will it communicate with the scan and cut? Um, if it's a brother machine. If it's a brother machine, it will allow it to send designs to the scan and cut. If it's a PES and a wireless, if it is a Stellar or a Luminaire, the scan and cut can talk back to it. So, yep. Alrighty. I love the, I love brother. Me too. <laughs> I'm very, Oh, I am very dismayed that I can't transfer Simply Applique to another computer. My laptop quit working and I had to get a new one. Wasn't able to transfer the license. Oh, no. Did you reach out to Brother Support? Because sometimes they can help. Um, I Hi, I am from Peru and I have the same Scan and Cut model. I brought it from my mom during the pandemic so she could cut fabrics, but it was hard to find tutorials. Thank you for all your tutorials. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm really, really glad I can help. Um Glad you had fun at Disney. Yeah, it was a blast. We're, we're thinking every other year, not every year, maybe every other year because it was expensive. <laughs> Jenny, having you live on All Brands After Hours on Saturday is awesome. Can can make it. I go to lunch between uh, 11, 1130. Can't make it on Wednesdays at 12. But um, but I have wired 
lunch hours. Oh, oh, okay. So we do um, a live show. I didn't do it last week because I was busy. I'm sorry. But we do a live chat uh, for our members, the All Brands Behind the Scenes members. We do one every Wednesday at noon. And I might change that time because it looks like it's not working great for everybody. So as of right now, it is at noon. It might change. Let's see. Are you a big time celebrity being found at huge Disney Park? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm a celebrity. Someone said that the other day in the comment and I got razzed pretty bad uh, by my team, but they were like, oh, and I'm like, no, I know. I think it's because I kept saying it uh, that I was going to Disney because I was excited. And so someone happened to find me there, but I am not a celebrity at all. <laughs> no. Oh, let's see. Um, quality cottons have very minimal shrinkage, if any. Oh, good to know. All right. Uh, sorry for, for treats for Santa at the end. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Um, got to run another live. It started that I have to be at enjoy crafting. Thank you, Phil. All right. Let's see. I have simply advocate too. And would like, love tutorials. Had to get really get to most of it. Yes. I need to do that. That is something that is on my to-do list. Have you been doing projects with the brother sublimation printer? I have not. I've used it, but I don't use it a lot. Um, I, I need to get into it. Um, when my PC died, I called brother and was able to have the license deactivated from a laptop and that died and they gave me my license back for a new laptop. See, okay, Annie, thank you. Yeah, that's great uh, advice. Hi, Courtney. When you set up time for your lives, what time zone are you talking about? Um, I do central time. So I'm in Louisiana. So I think it's, I think it's central time. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> you should be able to use your license. Um, yeah, two parts. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we all celebrate you, Cornell. Oh, you're very kind. Did I get to the bottom of the comments? Hold on. Newer to channel. Um, can you explain behind the scenes? Oh, yeah, totally. So behind the scenes is uh, on YouTube. There's a joint. Sorry, I need to not crack my knuckles. Ew. Um, there is a join button. Um, if you're on your a, a PC, so a computer, not on your phone or a tablet, there's a join button down there that lets you join a group where we do uh, additional content. We do lives every week uh, where you can ask me your questions and stuff like that. So that is that is them. They get. Um, I can see them a little bit better. It's like Barbara Jones is a member and she shows up brighter to me or uh, more bold to me than everybody else does. Um, then there's a few other fun little things and we're really hoping to add more to that, but that is a subscription and it is $5 a month. Correct me if I'm wrong guys, $5 a month uh, for the additional content and you hang out with me. <laughs> That's, that is a, uh, that is a, uh, what we do on that one. Okay. I think I made it to the bottom of the comments. I think I did it. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So, I've been keeping you guys for an hour and 18 minutes. There is something, if you've made it this long, there is something I want to show you that Stephen Thompson, our tech, showed me. And I'm unplugging my machine for this. So I get a lot of questions about maintenance on your machine. Take out the USB, Courtney. Um, and he showed me something pretty cool. I had never really dived deep into my machine, but he showed me if you ever had something on your scanner. So if you've ever scanned something in and if you notice those two lines, on your scan and you're like, what in the world? Why am I getting this? There's something on your, your actual scan bar. So he showed me how you can actually get to this. And this is okay to do. It will not void your warranty. It will not give you, ooh, let me not do that. It will not void your warranty. It will not give you any issues. This is actually in the manual, but how many times do we ever read the manual? So we're gonna pull this out. So this is the actual behind, like uh, back of your machine. I probably received my notification for live. Oh, no, I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to pull out this little tray, okay? So the tray is pulled out, and then we're going to flip our machine. So this is the bottom of my machine. There is, where side is it on? Oof, let me stand up a little. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There is a thing right here. I'm going to pull it closer to you. Right there. It's a little bitty um, tab that you're actually going to pinch, and then you're going to pull this out. Oh, let's see. I'm doing it backwards. There we go. So it actually pulls that out. Okay, so do you see this right here? That is actually, let me get away from the mic so I'm not screaming at you. That is actually, I'm not gonna touch it with my fingers. That is your scanner. That is what scans your material in and your designs in. That's it right there. So if you ever notice those two lines in your scan, take this off of the back. Remember, it was just a little, little, um, there it is little button right there and you're going to pull it out to get to your scan bar. So if I've had it where I've like had a piece of vinyl that got stuck in there, like a pressure sensitive vinyl and I could see it on my scan and I was like, how do I get in there? I can't get in through the front. 
do that. Take this out and that's your scan bar. So if I was actually, if I pull it right here, you see the little uh, lever on the side right there? You see how it's pulling it up and down? That's actually the internal of your machine. I thought that was cool. I geeked out pretty hard. So that's how you, ooh, it's on the back of my machine. Um, that's how you get to your scan bar. If you need to clean it for any reason, don't put your fingers all over it. Don't do anything like that. But that's how you could actually get to it. So, and to pop it back in, we're just going to go. Okay, lock it back down. There we go. Same. So easy. So if you need to clean your scan bar, that's where you can get to it. That's where you can clean it. So. Oh, Mary, thank you so much for the scan bar info. Yeah, because I've had a few times where something has, because I put a lot of stuff in my machine I should not be putting in my machine, let's be honest. Um, but that's how you could get to it if you ever need to clean it. Because if you if you can't reach it right here, I don't want to put anything in there because I feel like something something's going to go wrong. I don't want to hurt my machine and have to bring it into the... Um, to the tack or anything like that so i can do it myself and again that's in the user manual so it doesn't void your warranty to take that part off they made it to where you can take it off uh stephen thompson our tech told me the the rule that he kind of follows is if you've got to take a screwdriver and unscrew something maybe don't <laughs> maybe let the tech do it but if it's something easy like that then you know brother made it you know easy for you to do it at home so that's a uh, that's what I do. Uh, great info. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, that's also, oh, you guys are so sweet. Uh, how do you clean the scan bar? So you could get a microfiber cloth to run on there. If you see any debris, like again, that uh, pressure sensitive vinyl that was stuck in my machine one time, I just, I went in there with my finger or you can go in there with some tweezers and get it off. You don't want to ever like scratch that scan bar because then, you know, that's, that's going to ruin it. But uh, microfiber cloth, just wipe it off. You're good to go. If you ever feel like you need to do that, um, which you microfiber cloth. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what I would do it. Let's see. Uh, wow. Thank you so much for the bar info. You're welcome. Oh, you guys are so sweet. All right. Let's see. Did I miss any questions? Cause I, I want to make sure I answer every single one. Steven is awesome. He is so awesome. Don't tell him it goes to his head. <laughs> Don't let him know. No, I'm just kidding. He's good people. Um, one of my, when we were working at festivals, someone told me, they're like, I feel like he's like your work husband. I was like, ah, ah, no, because I work with my husband. So that would be weird. So, but no, he's good people. And he is very knowledgeable. And sometimes techs don't want to chit chat, but he will chit chat about you to your machine. So if you guys want him back on the show, let me know and I will force him. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I appreciate when he told me that there was a skin and cut in the tech room and he was like, do you mind? I was like, no, I'll totally look at it. It was totally fine. Um, all right, let's see. Boop, boop. All right, guys. So I have been talking for an hour and 23 minutes because of course I have. Um, there's a 202 of you watching right now. So hi. So hurry up and put hashtag all brands in the comments. And we're going to be pulling for that all brands, $25 e-gift card. So hurry, 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 hurry. Let me add it to the stage. All righty. Let's see. Oh, I see you guys have a few more questions. Uh, Cindy said it would be great to have Steven back. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> yes, I'll make sure he's back and we'll have machines and I will make him open them up because that is, I'm fascinated when he does that. All right. Um, oh, you're welcome, Linda. Thank you for answering all my questions. Ooh, let's see. We got some hashtag all brands. Oh, thank you, Jan. Hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate when you guys do that. I got a lot of hashtag. Oh, oh gosh, all of you. <laughs> I went to look at the comments and they're just running. Let's see. Uh, what do you clean the scan bar with? Uh, a microfiber cloth is probably your best bet. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit draw 143 of you. Let's see. Da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -da. And I always, I don't know how to say this. The Kirkups, Kirkups. Hi, you won. Woo yay. And I always see your name pop up every show. So I am so glad that you won. Congratulations. Please email events at allbrands.com with your name, number, and address to claim your $25 e-gift card. Again, that is all brands. I'm sorry, events at allbrands.com with your name, number, and address to claim your $25 e-gift card. Congratulations. Everyone hurry. Yo, congratulations in the chat. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> so 
Oh, my goodness. I have been chit-chatting with you guys for quite a while. I'm sorry if I look down a lot. That's where my monitor is. And I want to read all of your... Uh, oh, she said, wow. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. I feel like you're always there. Um, if you guys don't know, every Saturday, right when the video comes out at 6 o'clock uh, Central Time, I'm in the live chat. So the, sometimes the videos are re pre-recorded, but I'm in the live chat answering questions, saying hello to you guys. And I always say that you're always in there. So I'm so glad you won. That is awesome. Congratulations. Don't forget to email events at allbrands.com because sometimes you guys win and you don't claim your gift card and we'd love to give you free money we love free money free money is awesome so whew, okay i'm trying to make sure i didn't miss any of the questions because that is the fun part about um uh can we reach you through email i no, i'm sorry I, I don't i don't have that i know if you join if you do the master class there is a master class email that i will jump into sometimes not sometimes i answer them all the time um but you can always reach me on um one in our comment section but two you can also reach me in our facebook group uh, which is again brother scan and cut with all brands after hours so you can reach me there and i love answering questions um or if you join the all brands behind the scenes um i do a live show every week where i answer uh, answer questions and chat in there. So whew, we'll email after I fix it here. She's got things to do. All right, guys. Oh my goodness. I have been chit-chatting for a long time. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you enjoyed the live and if we should do these again, because I love doing this. This was so much fun. Um, I just had a blast. So thank you so much again. I will see you guys next Saturday with a new video and leave me in the comments what you want it to be because I haven't filmed it yet. So, <laughs> all right, guys, y'all have a good night. Bye.